So here we have totally fresh Laravel project, Laravel 8.8 .8 here at the bottom, and we will install two packages, Laravel UI for the UI and Laravel 45 for the backend auth. So composer require Laravel UI. For those of you who don't know the story, it was updated recently. At first with the launch of Laravel 8, it was not recommended, but then after some discussion, Taylor rephrased the message on the readme and Laravel UI is still usable in Laravel 8 and will be supported in Laravel 9 and beyond. So we install that and from that package we need simple UI. Let's take bootstrap with auth, we copy that command, we paste and it is scaffolded and we need to run npm install and npm run dev. Okay, success and if we refresh our page now we have the same design of Laravel 8, but we have login and register here. And if we click login, we see the design of Laravel UI. So it all works, login and register. But now we need to replace the backend of Laravel UI with Laravel Fortify. And first let's install Laravel Fortify. I have opened the documentation page, copy and paste the installation command here. It's version 1.6 at the moment. Okay, installed. Then we publish the resources. Then we do the migration and then we need to add the service provider to config app PHP. So we open app PHP config, this one, and down below in here we need to add Fortify service provider. So Fortify service provider from app providers, PHP Storm will autocomplete something for me. And now we have Fortify installed, which means that our auth would be powered by Fortify. So from Laravel UI that we installed previously, we don't need everything. If we go to routes web, we don't need auth routes because it will be powered by Fortify and we will enable that in a minute. And we don't need the controllers of auth. We only need the views. So resources views auth is what comes from Laravel UI and this is fine, but the controllers will be overridden by Fortify. So we delete the whole folder of auth. We don't need that. Instead, we go to Fortify Service Provider, this, and we will add exactly the views that we need for login, register, and other pages. In the documentation of Fortify, it is actually listed here. I will copy and paste. For login view, we use auth login, and we have that already here on the left. For register view, we use this one. There are four pages in total by default. Password reset link view and password reset view like this. The views are actually different, so it's actually passwords email and passwords reset. And now, if we refresh our page, register still works because the view is present login still works. And remember, we don't have routes anymore in the web. We don't have auth routes. And the routes are powered by Fortify Service Provider by these four lines. And let's try to register, actually. We go register with fake filler Chrome extension I register, and I'm redirected to home. If we look at the database, users, we see our new user. So that's how you use Laravel Fortify on the backend and Laravel UI on the front end for authentication. And I'm planning to shoot another video next video about how to customize the Fortify stuff. For example, add username instead of email, redirect to something else, change the validation messages for password and something like that. If you want to get that video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified via email when I publish every new video. Also, you can support this channel by doing one of two things. Use our Laravel Admin Panel Generator from quickadminpanel.com or enroll in one of my Laravel courses at laraveldaily.teachable.com. See you guys in other videos.